Hey, what's going on everybody? This is Wise Man White, and here we are with the FenSense. So it is a wireless sensor for your uh, license plate. That way you can tell how far away you are from backing up into something. Um, so I'm gonna show you, so I'm gonna go through everything. I'm gonna give you the good and the bad. That definitely has some issues with it, but it is a cool concept. So let's go check out what we can find out. The Tech Temple. So here, you, you can see right here, these are the screws that you need for the fence sense. And it comes with it, everything you need is to come in there. So here are the security screws, and down here are the sensors. Right here, here's one sensor, and then here's the other sensor that will tell what distance you are from an object. And here's an area you're supposed to put this tag, your license plate tag, on the front of there. Mine's already stuck and it's cold, so it's kind of hard to get it off right now, but that's supposed to go there. Um, behind here, is the battery so before you put this on you want to go ahead and put the included double-a batteries in the device so this is normal double-a batteries uh, it's supposed to last five months so one thing that I didn't notice so it comes with some more holes so if you see right there there's another hole and right there there's another hole uh, my car does not have those holes so I didn't use it but it's still been staying on good and uh, so this only pretty good so one thing I do want to show you that well, I can't show you now because I already take it off. But behind these screws, there are uh, some plastic pieces that came with it, and let me show you exactly what they look like. These mounting um, brackets. So you want to put these in your car first because the ones that you have in there now probably are already uh, probably already screwed in to fit your current screws that you have in there so you can try use the current screws and just use it instead of the ones that come with it but I wouldn't recommend it because these are security screws so nobody can take it off if you look at the actual tool um, if I can show you right there it is kind of like a star shape and this tool so if you don't have that you can't get these in or off so one don't lose these these come with a couple in the pack, so don't lose these. That, and this is helpful so nobody can steal this from you with just a normal screwdriver. But so I was saying, you need to put these in first so that the screws go into the mounting bracket. So for my car, I had to take off the whole hood. So let me um, back up and let me show you real quick exactly what I had to do. So this whole cover. This felt cover that goes on your trunk. I had to take this whole thing off because uh, I needed to get to the mounting brackets that were up here. So the mounting brackets, you can't push them through, or you can, but it was really hard or to pull them through through this hole. So I had to take this whole piece off. So if you see these little uh, pieces here, I don't have any nails right now, but you just stick a screwdriver in this part and they pop off. So there's, I don't know, one, you can see there's right there, two, three, four, there's some right there, right? That one's missing, and right there. So you have to do that, and also this slides off. So this is just a uh, another plastic piece that slides off. These I have to take these two screws out of here in order to get this off, and this just goes right through the hole. Then after that, this whole piece comes off, and you can um, hammer out or pull through, pull, push the um, mounting brackets in the existing ones and then put the ones that came with the fence sense. So that's one thing I want to say. They did not say that in the, uh, in the in the review packet. It just says, they just, just, it just says screw them on, but this won't stay if you don't use those um, mounting brackets, brand new mounting brackets. It, because these screws, on mine at least, they were um, just going right into the mounting bracket, they weren't adhering to anything. So, um, so if yours does not have the problem, then this will take you five minutes to put in. But if you have the problem that I did, it took me once I had to figure it out, maybe you know, 40 minutes after I figured out what exactly I had to do to do that. So, that's a little caveat, don't forget that. Okay, so I showed you the only tricky thing that has to do with actually putting the license plate on. Uh, other than that, everything else has to do with the actual app. And that is a little tricky too, but I'm going to go in the car and explain it to you because it's a little cold out here and the brother needs some heat. So let's go in there and I'll explain the little uh, nuances with it and also the cool tap button. Alright, so 
let's get to the other things that are in here. So, uh, get the box real quick. So, one thing that comes with this is the kind of like this. Like I showed you guys before, the magnetic uh, smartphone card holder. Except for having this, they have theirs on the. Uh, they have theirs on the actual air vent. And they got two sizes if you want to use the smaller one or if you want to use the um, bigger one for your bigger devices. So what this does is it uh, it just goes in there like this. So there is no having to you know, use that, you know. Um, so the only thing with that is uh, it's kind of blocking your air or your heat. So I prefer to not use those, but if you want, you can you can do that. That's fine. Uh, I even got my you know my other phone right here with the case, so you could just you know, put it on there like that. Um, it doesn't move too much. I'm surprised. I thought I thought it would move more, but yeah, you can yeah you can do that if you want to. But I prefer not to have the heat or anything you know crazy on there like that. So it comes with that, and it comes with the plates, and the other thing it comes with is a button. So you might be thinking to yourself, what do I do if I am you know, do I got to get in my phone before I drive, open up the app? That would be kind of cumbersome in order to do that. So you don't got to do that. Their recommendation or their solution to that was to come with this tab button. So this tab button is what goes on your steering wheel. So you can see that it is, uh, it's got the roundness on it. So personally, I think that this diameter is too small for these days steering wheel. I mean, I, I tried to do it and I feel like I'm going to break it especially because it's cold so it's more brittle but uh, what's supposed to happen is it's supposed to go right here turn it a little bit on your um, steering wheel so when you're getting ready to back up you tap this and it will open up the app and then you can back up and it will beep when you back up so alternatively you can remove that so if you don't want to do that like I'm not I choose to not use this so you can take this and you can just leave that out and it came with a sticker which I used on the license plate so it didn't move so much but it came with a 3M double sided sticker so you can just get some more tape and put it anywhere in your car so you can put that you know right here or you know in the middle or somewhere that's going to be easy for you to get to and then if you mind right there actually I might just put it right there and then you tap it and it will turn the app on and then the app will go to the interface and it will show you the red and green lines and yellow lines as to how far you are from the uh, object behind you. Uh, got it right here, fence sense. So one thing, I noticed that the app doesn't always open on the first time, and um, it kind of makes me a little you know, iffy, especially if you want to use it. So right now, um, yeah, let me go back to home first before I show you that. So here is, so this way when you have it on the mount and you are using it to um, while you're driving that way you have some nice big icons I'm happy that I don't use, use Google Maps I don't use Spotify Pandora there's a mechanic app I'm on AAA and I don't use you know that either but when you go into the settings this, so when you first set this up after you install the um, the license plate you want to go ahead and do the clearance so I'm not gonna change mine but what the clearance is is gonna take into account the distance from your license plate to your end of your bumper so that way it can calculate the distance correctly so you want to do that first oops clearance I mine on mine is at three and then I'll do next so you can always change it so when you change cars you can do that too and manage devices and sensor plates so you want to do this when you put the um, actually before you even Hook it up to your car. You can do this just to make sure you get the batteries in correctly and everything. It tells you your percentage. So I had it in for less than a week and I'm already at you know, 90%. If you can see that, that's kind of, mm, I wish it was longer, but you, it does take AA batteries. So I guess that's not terrible. Um, at the bottom, you can see add new fence sense. So you can have one in the front and the back. I only have one in the back right now. And a tap button. So there's a tap button. It says the battery's at 100%. Um, which is weird because earlier it said it was low. Uh, when I got the tap button, it was uh, the battery was dead. So I was sitting here trying to tap the button and nothing was happening because it says add quick launch button. 
and um, it'll look and search for that button, but my, it wouldn't find mine even when I would hold it five times like it instructs you to do. And that's because my uh, the battery was dead. I think it's a C2023. I'll put a link and um, I'll put a note at the bottom to tell you so you know exactly what uh, battery to get. I got lucky that I had one before. Um, here's a setup guide that tells you everything. You didn't really need to do that. Um, and for a truck, you can invert this. But this app is pretty simple. So right now, so you hit the button and it takes you right there and it shows you your uh, the car. So right now I am and this is in a parking space. There's nothing in back of me, which is good. So they're showing the right thing correctly. So as you progressively get closer to an object behind you, it will um, beep and you'll see this cone uh, get smaller and you'll hear it uh, beep like I said before. In the top right, the battery is for the um, the battery and the actual license plate and um, it doesn't show you the battery button which would be nice you can mute this so if you don't want to hear the beep, 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 beep. so it does beep real hard um, it does a constant beep when you're real real close otherwise it just does the incremental beep um, just like it does in cars so I'm going to show you exactly uh, what it does actually let me go home first let me show you that the tap button does work so let me put that up there and here is the button. It's like I said before, it says tap. So tap and it should open up. So that's exactly what will happen. So that's nice. Sometimes it does not do that from the first go. They did an update recently and it seems to have gotten better after I you know, just uninstalled it. So again, go home. You can be in, let's say I'm in Google Maps just for the heck of it. And I want to back up, hit the button, and it's there. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and see if I can back up against something that'll actually, um, the sensor will read, and we'll see how well it works.